I struggled with trying to figure out how to make this video work, whether I should make it kid friendly and have it more of a family fun or make it a little more sinister like on my legend tripping channel. But I wondered to myself, is there really a lot of substantial ghost hunting to be done in Calico? Or is there really any urban legends that would take it to my channel, Legend Tripping? I decided to do a combination. I hope you like it. True story, this house is haunted. No question. Back in 1881, some gentlemen were sitting around town hall discussing names and not liking any of them. Then one man said, it's as pretty as a women's calico skirt. Right then and there, they knew they found the name, Calico. And it is true, these mountains are as colorful as a calico skirt. <laughs> Today we're in Calico Ghost Town and uh, it is, um, like about halfway to Vegas from where I live. And I've been here several times, but I haven't been here since Jude was about four, and he's now 13. This will be the first time for Lucy. Let's check this out. Can I come down? My leg needs to No, we to camped end. down here somewhere, Jude. This is where we camped in the Raptor. I want to say down there somewhere. All right, so what do you say, guys? We're going to Calico. Well, we Lucy did her own makeup today. <laughs> I'm a clown. I dressed myself up like a All right, let's go do this, guys. Let's talk about Calico's history. In 1875, prospectors first found silver on the south slope of the Calico Mountains. Then in 1881 came the discovery of the Silver King, which was Calico's richest mine. Within a year, the new settlement supported several businesses on a commercial street, flanked by tents and adobe buildings. Calico produced 86 million in silver and 45 million in borax. But when the price of silver dropped from $1.31 an ounce to 63 cents during the mid-1890s, Calico became a ghost of its former self. By 1935, the town was entirely abandoned and left to Mother Nature's elements, alone in the Mojave Desert. In 1950, Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park bought the town site and began restorations. One of the rebuilt attractions is a one mile short Calico and Odessa Railroad, which loops through steep canyons and hills past old mines and buildings north of Calico. That's the one that we're on in this video. Though the original town site has mostly been rebuilt by new and restored buildings, one third of the town is original and the remaining newer buildings were carefully reconstructed to recreate the spirit of Calico's Old West. In 1966, Knott donated Calico to San Bernardino County, and Calico now operates as one of the many San Bernardino County Regional Parks. But everybody asks, is it haunted? Well, one of the most often cited spirits is that of Lucy Bell King, Lane. True story, this house is haunted. No question a woman who spent nearly 70 years of her life in Calico. When she was 18 years old, she married John Robert Lane, and the two opened a general store that provided not only provisions to the mining population, but also cloth, nails, and hardware. 
So now that we're actually inside a ghost town and uh, you know how my name is Lucy, since we're in a ghost town, it's really creepy that it says my name up there. It says my name up there and it says this. Please join me in my horror. Sorry, your, that handwriting is awful. Her husband John died in 1934, but Lucy would continue to live a long life, staying in the same house until she died in 1967 at the age of 93. Others have allegedly seen phantom school teachers and another small child who's been known to grab people's legs or pinch their ankles. Some visitors have also reported seeing a floating red light inside the school. There are plenty of other stories about the ghosts of Calico, but is there any tragedy that backs up the urban legends? In 1981, a one Dennis Gibson had been spending time traveling along the coast and somehow met up with now-convicted serial killer Tracy Petricelli. Petricelli killed his ex-girlfriend and car salesman in Nevada. Apparently, Petricelli met up with Dennis Gibson, beat and shot him to death, and left him on a hiking trail near Calico. I was not able to find that exact location. However, Tracy Petricelli is now facing a death sentence in the state of Nevada. Okay, so this is the first time I've sat down since I've been here, and it is to be on a train ride. Lucy and Jude are in this caboose. Wait, wait, wait. Climbing. Wow, I can see up here. And I'm sitting here in the open so that I can get the best video I can get. It is hot, it is dry. Hot and dry, that's all I can say right now. <laughs> Howdy folks, this is Hard Rock Harris. And I'm here with Mrs. Annie Rickard, two miners from Calico State. We would like to welcome you aboard the Calico and Odessa Railroad. Howdy there, folks. We all please stay seated as we take a ride together on the back of Old Calico. As we go around this first curve, there are some miners' cabins built along the canyon walls. As good as they appear, they were ideal for protecting us from the hot summers and cold winters here at Calico. And perfect for the independent types like with them for themselves. Of course, many miners stayed in boarding houses, mainly for modern conveniences, like home cooking. Yeah, they just locked the door in this mine. What, Dad? Hey, guys, I hope we can get out down here because they locked the door on the other side. I'm just saying. Okay. No, it's locked. You're not going to say anything to the kids about what? Nothing. Never mind. Tell okay. us. Tell us. Tell us. All right, so you go to the left, to the right, guys. I saw the map. Oh, God. No, no. You go to the right here. For what? Well, and then it turns around and you come back out that way somehow. Out of the mountain. Notice the unusual wooden pipes in the background. 
That looks like Freddy Krueger. When you lose the kids, it's one thing. When you lose them in a mine shaft, it's next level. You guys, this concludes our Calico Ghost Town mini tour. Is it haunted? Yeah, it's haunted. Um, but I didn't get to stay here overnight, but I could feel the ghost, no question. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and if you want to be informed of new videos, hit that little bell up in the corner. Take care of each other. And, and keep rock alive. Keep rock alive.